Welcome to our channel, where we explore different places around the world. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. In today's video, we'll be discussing the 10 states that are likely to collapse in 2024. We highlight the interconnected issues of economic instability, natural disasters, inadequate infrastructure, poor healthcare, and political mismanagement that contribute to these states' potential downfall. So, stick around till the end to get the full picture. Without further delay, let's check out the list. Number 10. Alaska. Alaska faces a complex array of challenges that threaten its stability and sustainability. Despite its rugged and self-sufficient image, the state heavily depends on external supplies for essentials like food and fuel. This dependence leaves Alaska vulnerable, as any disruption in supply chains could quickly lead to shortages, particularly in remote communities with limited access to resources. The state's once thriving crab fishing industry, a cornerstone of its economy, is collapsing due to climate-induced marine heat waves. This environmental impact has not only caused a devastating economic loss of approximately $300 million but has also disrupted local economies that heavily rely on seafood production. As a result, communities dependent on fishing face economic hardship and uncertainty, further compounded by ongoing challenges in diversifying their economies. Alaska also grapples with severe housing shortages. High costs, coupled with limited supply, have made homeownership unattainable for many residents. This situation not only exacerbates social inequalities but also poses challenges for attracting and retaining essential workers, essential for sustaining local communities and services. Financially, Alaska struggles with significant budget deficits. In 2021, the state reported deficits nearing $1.6 billion, depleting its reserves and indicating a looming fiscal crisis. These deficits are driven in part due to the state's heavy reliance on oil revenues, which accounted for 80% of unrestricted revenues in 2019. With declining oil production and fluctuating prices, Alaska's fiscal health remains precarious, requiring sustainable economic strategies and fiscal management reforms. Demographically, Alaska has experienced a notable population decline, losing 24,000 residents between 2016 and 2020. This decline not only reduces the state's tax base but also diminishes economic activity and limits opportunities for growth. Political instability further complicates long-term planning and effective governance, particularly concerning debates over fiscal policies, like the Alaska Permanent Fund Dividend. Number 9 is about California. California faces various challenges that pose significant risks to its residents and economy. Foremost among these are the constant threats of earthquakes and floods, which are exacerbated by its location on the Pacific Ring of Fire and its diverse geography. Critical infrastructure like dams such as the Whittier Narrows Dam and the aging power grid are vulnerable to seismic activity and heavy rains, risking catastrophic damage and substantial economic losses estimated at over $6 billion in potential flood damages alone. Financial instability looms large over California's banking sector, with recent regulatory changes and the collapse of major banks such as Silicon Valley Bank raising concerns about economic stability. These developments underscore the fragility of the state's financial systems and their susceptibility to shocks, potentially impacting businesses and residents alike. Prolonged droughts exacerbate water shortages, with overuse of groundwater in areas like the Central Valley leading to critical water deficits, threatening agricultural productivity, a cornerstone of California's economy. Meanwhile, rising temperatures fuel more frequent and severe wildfires, devastating communities, destroying homes, and straining emergency response efforts. The high cost of living is another pressing issue, particularly in densely populated coastal cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles, where skyrocketing housing costs, with average rent exceeding $3,000 per month in major urban centers, contribute to housing insecurity and homelessness, disproportionately affecting minority communities. Homelessness rates in California are the highest in the nation, with socioeconomic disparities exacerbating the issue. High taxes, including the nation's highest income and wealth taxes, drive businesses and residents to states with lower tax burdens, threatening California's revenue base and exacerbating economic inequality. Number 8 is about New York. New York City, a global economic hub and cultural icon, 
faces a spectrum of challenges that threaten its resilience and well-being. One of the prominent risks is the potential for food shortages during a crisis due to the city's dense urban landscape and heavy reliance on external food supplies. This logistical dependency could exacerbate challenges in distributing essential goods during emergencies, potentially leading to widespread shortages and social unrest. High crime rates present another significant concern for New York City, despite efforts to improve public safety. Major crimes have increased sharply in recent years, posing challenges for law enforcement and public safety agencies. During a crisis, the strain on law enforcement resources could further escalate, impacting the city's ability to maintain order and ensure public security. Economic instability compounds New York's challenges. The city's economy, heavily reliant on sectors like finance, media, and tourism, is susceptible to global economic fluctuations and market disruptions. Recent bankruptcies of financial institutions like Republic First Bank highlight vulnerabilities in the financial sector, contributing to uncertainties in the broader economy and impacting businesses and residents alike. Housing costs in New York City rank among the highest in the nation, with a significant portion of households burdened by housing expenses. The median home price exceeds $400,000, making homeownership out of reach for many residents and exacerbating housing insecurity. High rental costs, particularly in Manhattan and other central areas, further strain household budgets and contribute to socioeconomic disparities. New York's tax burden is among the highest in the country, with substantial income and property taxes placing additional financial pressures on businesses and residents. These high taxes, along with the cost of living, lead to many people leaving the city each year to find more affordable living conditions elsewhere. Number 7 is West Virginia. West Virginia faces several challenges that affect its residents and economic prospects. The most significant of these is the devastating opioid crisis, which has a severe impact on public health and the economy. The state spends nearly $9.9 .9 billion annually to combat this crisis, addressing health care, criminal justice, and lost productivity due to drug-related issues. High rates of opioid addiction contribute to poor health indicators, including alarmingly high rates of obesity and heart disease, straining the healthcare system and diminishing overall public health outcomes. Frequent flooding adds to West Virginia's woes, with over 1,600 floods occurring between 2010 and 2021, causing significant property damage and loss of life. Inadequate infrastructure exacerbates the impact of flooding, limiting the state's ability to mitigate risks and effectively recover from natural disasters. Legislative changes have relaxed welfare and vaccination regulations, potentially worsening health and economic problems. The decline of the coal industry has further weakened the state's economy. West Virginia's historical reliance on coal mining has left many communities vulnerable to economic decline and job losses, with over 300,000 residents living in poverty and 11 counties experiencing chronic poverty. Educational attainment in West Virginia lags behind the national average, with only 19.6% of adults holding a bachelor's degree or higher, compared to the national average of 32%. This educational deficit limits economic opportunities and contributes to persistent poverty and unemployment in the state. Addressing these challenges requires comprehensive strategies that encompass public health interventions, infrastructure improvements, economic diversification, and educational reforms to foster long-term resilience and prosperity in West Virginia. Number 6 is New Mexico. New Mexico grapples with a complex web of challenges that threaten its socioeconomic stability and overall well-being. Chief among these challenges is severe poverty, with an alarming 18% poverty rate that underscores widespread financial hardship and economic inequality across the state. High unemployment rates persistently exceed the national average, further exacerbating economic pressures and limiting opportunities for residents. Educational outcomes in New Mexico rank among the lowest in the nation, with the state consistently placing last in K-12 education according to national rankings. This educational disadvantage hampers future economic growth and workforce development, perpetuating cycles of poverty and limiting opportunities for social mobility. Water scarcity poses a critical environmental challenge in New Mexico, exacerbated by prolonged droughts that have strained agricultural production and municipal water supplies. 
threatening local economies dependent on agriculture and exacerbating challenges in managing water resources sustainably for both urban and rural communities. Infrastructure deficiencies also loom large, with New Mexico earning a subpar C rating from the American Society of Civil Engineers for its infrastructure quality. Aging roads, bridges, and utilities require urgent investment and modernization to support economic growth, public safety, and community resilience. High crime rates further strain communities across New Mexico, with violent crime incidents consistently above national averages. These issues contribute to social instability, undermine community well-being, and pose challenges for law enforcement and criminal justice systems. Number 5 is Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico faces a multitude of severe economic challenges that have deeply impacted its residents and infrastructure. High unemployment rates persist alongside limited job opportunities, contributing to widespread poverty and economic instability across the island. The economy struggles with high debt levels and limited access to financial resources, exacerbated by challenges in attracting new investments and businesses due to ongoing fiscal uncertainties. Frequent natural disasters, including hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods, pose significant risks to Puerto Rico's infrastructure and economy. These events have caused extensive damage to homes, businesses, and public infrastructure, leading to prolonged recovery periods and hindering long-term economic growth. The island's vulnerability to such disasters underscores the urgent need for robust disaster preparedness and resilient infrastructure development. Healthcare funding issues compound the challenges facing Puerto Rico, with lower Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement rates compared to mainland U.S. standards. This disparity has strained the healthcare system, limiting access to essential services and contributing to healthcare disparities among vulnerable populations. Efforts to sustain healthcare services are further complicated by budget constraints and administrative inefficiencies. School closures and educational challenges have plagued Puerto Rico, impacting the quality of education and future opportunities for its youth. Budget cuts and operational inefficiencies have led to school closures and reduced resources, exacerbating educational disparities and hindering student achievement. Corruption and inefficient management practices have further complicated Puerto Rico's governance and economic recovery efforts. Political scandals and mismanagement of public funds have eroded public trust in leadership and hindered effective policymaking and resource allocation. Addressing these systemic issues is crucial for fostering transparency, accountability, and effective governance to support Puerto Rico's sustainable development and resilience in the face of ongoing challenges. Number 4 is Louisiana. Louisiana confronts a host of environmental, economic, and social challenges that impact its residents and economic prospects. Hurricanes intensified by climate change pose significant risks to coastal communities, causing severe property damage, displacement, and disruption to livelihoods. Coastal erosion, exacerbated by rising sea levels, further threatens the state's unique ecosystem and infrastructure, exacerbating vulnerabilities to future storm events. Severe pollution in areas like Cancer Alley, an 85-mile stretch along the Mississippi River, exposes residents to toxic chemicals from industrial plants, contributing to health disparities and elevated rates of chronic illnesses. Environmental justice concerns arise as disadvantaged communities bear a disproportionate burden of pollution impacts, exacerbating socio-economic inequalities and health disparities. A housing insurance crisis adds to Louisiana's economic challenges, with soaring premiums and limited coverage following repeated hurricanes and floods. Many homeowners struggle to afford adequate insurance, leaving them financially vulnerable to property damage and recovery costs associated with natural disasters. Economic inequality persists in Louisiana, with high poverty rates and income disparities that disproportionately affect minority and low-income communities. Despite efforts to attract investment and diversify the economy, structural barriers hinder equitable economic development and perpetuate social disparities across the state. Louisiana's education system faces significant challenges, with educational attainment levels below national averages and persistent achievement gaps among student populations. Improving educational outcomes and addressing systemic barriers to success are essential for preparing Louisiana's youth for future opportunities and strengthening the state's workforce and economic competitiveness. Illinois is ranked third in terms of facing a severe financial crisis, 
marked by high levels of debt and a challenging economic landscape. The state's debt-to-GDP ratio stands at a staggering 122 percent, the highest in the nation, highlighting significant fiscal vulnerabilities. High property taxes, coupled with substantial income tax rates, contribute to a burdensome tax environment that impacts businesses and residents alike, fostering an unfavorable business climate. Declining population trends exacerbate Illinois' economic challenges, with over 100,000 residents leaving the state in recent years. This population loss reduces tax revenues, strains public services, and compounds budget shortfalls, posing long-term implications for economic growth and social welfare programs. Illinois is also grappling with a severe opioid epidemic, contributing to high rates of addiction, overdose deaths, and related social and economic costs. The crisis overwhelms healthcare systems and strains public resources, exacerbating challenges in delivering effective treatment and support services to affected individuals and communities. The state's governance is further hampered by recurring budget impasses and fiscal mismanagement, including a two-year budget standoff that strained public finances and undermined confidence in the state's ability to govern effectively. Underfunding of social services and infrastructure has led to deteriorating public services, with critical areas like education, health care, and transportation experiencing significant strains. Frequent severe storms, including tornadoes and severe weather events, add to Illinois' challenges, causing extensive property damage, disrupting communities, and straining emergency response capabilities. These natural disasters highlight the need for robust disaster preparedness and infrastructure resilience strategies to mitigate risks and protect residents' safety and well-being. In a nutshell, Illinois faces a confluence of economic, social, and governance challenges, including high debt, tax burdens, population decline, opioid epidemic, budgetary impasses, underfunded services, and vulnerability to severe weather. Addressing these complex issues requires strategic reforms, fiscal discipline, and proactive measures to foster economic growth, improve public services, and enhance resilience against future crises. Number 2 is New Jersey. New Jersey grapples with a myriad of economic, social, and public health challenges that impact its residents and economic vitality. The state's high unfunded debt, exceeding 20% of its total personal income, poses significant fiscal challenges, limiting the state's capacity to fund essential services, infrastructure projects, and emergency responses. High taxes further burden New Jersey residents, including some of the nation's highest property and sales taxes, contributing to a challenging economic environment and affecting affordability for businesses and individuals. The high cost of living, particularly housing costs, with a median home price of around $400,000, exacerbates financial pressures and contributes to housing insecurity. The state's healthcare system faces critical challenges, with New Jersey ranking poorly in maternal mortality rates and healthcare outcomes. High healthcare costs and disparities in access to quality care affect residents' well-being and exacerbate public health crises, including challenges related to drug abuse and addiction. Natural disaster risks, including hurricanes and flooding, threaten New Jersey's coastal communities, with aging infrastructure and urban development exacerbating vulnerability to climate-related impacts. Efforts to mitigate these risks, such as coastal restoration projects and infrastructure improvements, face ongoing challenges amid budget constraints and competing priorities. New Jersey's public health is further strained by a significant opioid epidemic, contributing to high rates of addiction, overdose deaths, and associated social and economic costs. The crisis underscores the need for comprehensive strategies to address substance abuse, enhance treatment services, and support affected individuals and families. In short, New Jersey's challenges encompass high debt levels, tax burdens, unaffordable housing, healthcare disparities, natural disaster vulnerabilities, and public health crises. Addressing these complex issues requires proactive policies, investments in infrastructure and public services, and collaborative efforts to promote economic resilience and improve the quality of life for all residents. Number 1 is Mississippi. Mississippi faces a multitude of challenges that impact its residents across economic, health care, education, and infrastructure domains. The state contends with persistently high poverty rates, with nearly 20% of its population living below the poverty line, 
highlighting widespread financial hardship and economic inequality. Low median income levels further underscore economic challenges, limiting opportunities for economic mobility and contributing to socioeconomic disparities. The healthcare system in Mississippi is characterized by significant shortcomings, including the highest infant mortality rate in the nation and limited access to healthcare services, particularly in rural areas. These deficiencies exacerbate health disparities, impacting maternal and child health outcomes and contributing to overall public health challenges. Educational outcomes in Mississippi rank it among the lowest in the country, with a significant achievement gap and challenges in K-12 education quality. Low academic performance and graduation rates hinder educational attainment and workforce readiness, perpetuating cycles of poverty and limiting economic growth opportunities for residents. Mississippi faces a high risk of natural disasters, including hurricanes and floods, which pose significant threats to public safety, property, and critical infrastructure. Vulnerabilities in infrastructure systems, such as roads, bridges, and water systems, further amplify risks during severe weather events, highlighting the need for resilience and disaster preparedness efforts. Racial and economic disparities are pronounced in Mississippi, with significant disparities in income, education, healthcare access, and employment opportunities. These disparities underscore systemic challenges and barriers that impact minority communities disproportionately, contributing to social inequalities and hindering inclusive economic growth and development. We've come to the end of our list. What are your thoughts about these states? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video interesting, why not like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next one. Bye.